You ready for this? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the man is a bolo finder. Bought it in an estate sale for $50 and sold it for $1,050 in one week. Wow, that's a great tip. Last day of an estate sale and still found it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can pick up and sell for a profit on different selling platforms. Uh, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These come from Bolo Buddies Facebook group members. I posted this, share your best June bolo in my Facebook group and invited everyone to share their bolo. So let's get started here with some big money bolos. Some of these are going to knock off your socks. Uh, nothing to see here, just a pair of ice skates selling in June because, you know, summer sales and all. My next door neighbor put these on the curb. I thought, that I had her trained better than to throw things away without checking with me first. I listed them on eBay and Mercari. They sold on Mercari for full price of $49 in eight hours. Paid zero with my curbside shopping frequent, frequent, sh frequent <laughs> shopper discount. This one comes from Jersey Shore Thrifter. He always has great stories. This is what the ice skates look like. Rydell figure ice skates, women's size eight. We bought these strange looking birthing stones at a Goodwill bin store. Hmm. Never seen anything like them and they were small. Didn't weigh much. Probably cost around 50 cents for these four. Priced based on the fact that you can buy similar ones new on the internet for $33. A buyer offered $20 each for the two with no packaging and $25 for one with packaging and tag. The next morning... She let us know she had already paid, but wanted to add another for 20 and we accepted. Buyer was all in for 102 24 What are they? Birthing stones? Bell Pine Art Farm Small Clay Sculpture Birthing Goddess Stone. Hmm. I'm going to show you guys pictures. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of clay sculpture. Huh. Okay. There you have it. Birthing stones. Anybody ever sold one before? Brass door knockers have been good for me. I sold one last year that I bought for a quarter. Got 200 for that one. This one cost me four at an estate sale and sold for 90 with an hour of listing. I took a best offer of 90 on Mercari. Chow Chow Dog Brass Door Knocker. Okay. So I think anytime you can find anything that looks like someone's dog, it's going to sell and it's probably going to be a bolo. Check this out. Mercari. If you're not selling on Mercari, definitely check it out. I have a referral link down below. You can get $10 to shop when you join with it and you get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And some things, especially plush, sells, I think, better on Mercari in a lot of cases. So saturated items. And you can see here, um, the first one we talked about was the ice skates sold faster on Mercari, faster on Mercari than eBay, and the brass door knocker. I don't know if they had that cross posted or not, but sold on Mercari. Okay, here's another one from Jerry. At a packed family run estate sale, I asked if there were any sheds, basement, garage, etc., and was told I could go look in the shed, but there wasn't much in there. Hanging on the wall between the rusty shovels and rakes was this old hockey mask. So creepy looking, I knew I could sell it. I paid a dollar for it. Although unmarked, my research indicated that it may be a brand called Fibro Sport, which has sold comps north of 700 I decided to put it up for auction with a starting price of $149.99 because I would have been totally happy if that's what it sold for. Within the first 24 hours of the auction, it had received eight bids and the price was over 300. It stayed that way for the rest of the week and on the last day in the final hours, it got a bid 
all the way up to $515.53. The buyer paid right away. I even received a message a few hours later after the auction ended from someone who did win the auction asking me if I would take an offer on it if, I, if the winner didn't pay. This is the highest priced individual item I have sold to date. That is awesome. And this is what it looks like. It is kind of creepy. All right. I love to pick up these lighted vanity makeup mirrors at estate and yard sales. They are often overlooked and always a pretty quick flip for a good profit. I purchased this one for $4 at the bins and sold it for $34.99. Yes, this is from Got Junk in Our Trunk. Awesome YouTube channel. Awesome person. Moderator of the Facebook group. I highly recommend her. Go subscribe to her. I will link her down below. Um, she has talked about these before. She sells a lot of things that I think many of you probably walk past. Her what sold videos are quick, to the point, they're to music, they're fast, usually three, two to four minutes long, but you get so much information in those quick videos, you are going to love it. So sub her up, tell her thank you for being a moderator because this group is crazy. And um, yeah, she is also a Bolo Buddies member, which means she has joined at level two or higher to get a shout out in this video and her links down below. So she gets a pop-up of her YouTube channel and then I will link her YouTube and eBay store down in the description. But she would be getting a shout out anyway because she's a moderator of the Facebook group and just a huge support to uh, me and my channel and has become a great friend. She is awesome. You guys are going to love Rhonda. Hi, Courtney. This is my second large realistic plush bolo. It sold this morning. I bought this at my local Goodwill for $6.13. I knew it was a good one as I sold a woof that was similar in April. I first listed it on auction starting at $129.99. It didn't sell, so I listed it at fixed price and put it on sale for 30% off and I accepted their offer of 80 plus shipping. They overpaid on shipping, so I did issue them a refund, but I still ended up making money on the shipping and giving them a nice refund back. I didn't feel right not to do that. The buyer was all in for $135.97. I was so thankful as my sales have been slow. I will never pass up a big realistic plush and you should not either. It is a floppy friends vintage Mervyn's realistic plush stuffed collectible Bengal tiger. Noni's treasures. Uh, this is her eBay store. I, I get her and Leo's treasures mixed up because they're so close in their names like uh, Noni's and Leo's. I don't know, but I'm sure, pretty sure this is Noni's treasures. Hi, Courtney. Here's a few of my bolos. Once again, want to thank you. You make this job not just easier because of your videos, but so much fun as well. Thank you. It's Noni's treasures. I know who it is now. Um, sold two Sold two of three homeschool curriculum teacher's manuals. I got it at a church sale, 50 cents each. Sold two to the same buyer, $59.98, and one to another for $19.99. And this is what they look like. Betty Lucan's Spiral Bound Through the Something. And the next one, she said, got these Playtex gloves at an estate sale. Playtex gloves? basically gave them to me last day, but I knew they were a bolo. They were vintage and a limited time color of green, possibly paid 25 cents, listed for $39.99. Within minutes, a guy messaged me, what's my lowest price? I thought I just listed them. I told him he can make an offer. I'd respond, offered like 20, countered at $37.99, then asked if I had any yellow. Really? I'm not Walmart. Anyway, a day later, someone paid full asking price. So they sold for $39.99. That's awesome. I didn't know Playtex made gloves. Huh. Uh, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, the Kitchy Canson. And this is her eBay store. Definitely go check her out. She said, bought this vintage beach towel at an estate sale for $1.75. And within two months, it sold for full asking price of $40. Thank you, Courtney, for all your amazing knowledge. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are so kind. I appreciate that. Uh, vintage Joe Franco beach towel, 100% cotton, red, blue, wind surfer. Would you have picked it up or walked right past it? Everybody's going to be checking the towels now. All right, this one comes from Nina's Jewels. 
That's her YouTube and eBay. She is also a Bola Buddies member. Bought these Pottery Barn pillow shams at a thrift store for $5.40. Sold for full asking price of $129.99. They are discontinued pattern and sold within a couple of months. The buyer reached out from her car immediately after opening and said the color wasn't right. I talked her down and suggested she take them home and look at them under another light. She did and ended up loving them. Whew. She sent me a photo and gave positive feedback. Wow. That's a great tip. Yeah. Lighting can definitely make a difference. If you're outside in natural light or in your car or in your house, it's going to look different. That's good feedback. And this is what it looks like. Ralph Lauren Sheet. Paid $2 at a thrift store. Took a best offer of $60. It was listed for about two months. I always pick up Ralph Lauren linens if they are in good condition. And this is what they look like. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds. And she said, I bought this at a charity rummage sale for $5. It sold for full asking price in 24 hours. It, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a 1981 Cats Broadway musical memory San Francisco music box. $99.95 plus shipping. That is awesome. All right. Are you ready for this next one? This one comes from Christopher. Amazing Steals and Deals. And he is I buy C-H-I-T on YouTube. You guys may know him. He is a huge money bolo finder. Bought it in a state sale for $20 and took a best offer of 303 days. Wow. I mean, I'm always impressed. Whatever he brings and shares, I'm always impressed. Let's see what it is. HP 48GX Graphic Expandable Calculator. Hewlett Packard. Like, really? I definitely would have picked that up. But how on earth did he get that for $20? That is amazing. You ready for this? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the man is a bolo finder. Bought it in a state sale for $50 and sold it for $1,050 in one week. His eBay store is linked down below. I highly recommend you go and hit that heart, follow him, and look at his titles, look at what he's buying, maybe buy something from him because he's awesome. But he has just an incredible store. And he has uh, bread and butter items also. I mean, he, his store is just, it's packed. It is a Bach Stradvarius coronet mouthpiece and original case. 50 into 1,050 in a week. Here's his next one. Bought it in a state sale for 40 or 50 and sold in a week for $300. It is a, another word I cannot say. Mo, uh, molecule, molecule. It's a molecule air purifier with Peco Tech with new air Peco filters in mint condition. Bam. This one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures, and he has a YouTube channel, but he is focusing right now on whatnot. If you are not on Whatnot, I highly recommend it. I'm selling on Whatnot and I absolutely love it. If you want to sell on Whatnot, I have a referral link down below that will let Whatnot know that I referred you. So you can check that out. But if you're not like already joined and buying, it is so fun. And you can find things to resell. I'm telling you, I'm buying stuff over there and I'm reselling it for a profit. And uh, it's a great place to source. Now, you have to look around. You have to, there's a lot of sellers that you're just going to be, it's going to be a hard pass. They're not going to be for you. Um, there's going to be other sellers that you're just going to love to watch and you might not buy from. And there's going to be people that you, when they're on, you are there and you are sourcing. So lots of options. If you use my link down below, you're going to get $15 of free money to shop. That's my referral link. And you guys, please come follow me, Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase on whatnot. But that link will take you over to me. So I'd love for you guys to come over, bookmark my shows. I'm doing lots of live shows. It is so fun. I also have a buy it now section. That's another thing you may not know. 
Whatnot has a marketplace. So you can just like all the other platforms, you can sell your items on the Whatnot marketplace and not go live. So that is an option. But Franklin Hill Ventures, that is his Whatnot name. Please go give him a follow. He does a lot of ephemera. He is fantastic. So go follow him on Whatnot and YouTube. He said, picked up this uh, Kaifel and Esser compensating polar planimeter out of a free box at a yard sale and sold it for 64 plus shipping. Not sure what a compensating polar planimeter is, but I know it is a bolo. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing, like what? Um, so he is VH, I'm sorry, VH, oh my goodness, FH Ventures. Why was I doing that? On eBay and Franklin Hill Ventures on whatnot. And this is what he sold. Free box. It's a free box. This one comes from Nana's Nichols and she's a Bolo Buddies member and this is her eBay store and she also has a YouTube. I'll link all of that down below. Anybody I mentioned that's a Bolo Buddies member will be linked in the description. So super easy for you guys to go down there and click and follow. She says, as the summer months are so slow, I was glad to get yet another trackball mouse for free from work. This one is missing the trackball and it's still sold in two days for my asking price of $35. I am thankful to get to uh, pilfer through the scrap on my job. I also get most of my packing supplies there too. Good, clean bubble wrap foam and boxes. That's awesome. Yeah, that'll save you a ton of money. Um, if you're looking for bubble wrap, since we're talking about it, I use American Bubble Boy and guess what? They now have tape. Yes, they now have tape and they have coffee. So if you need tape, coffee, or bubble wrap, my link is down below. Even if you already have a Bubble Boy account, if you guys use my referral link, I do get credit for that. So I would love it if you need to stock up, if you went down and used my link to go buy your bubble. Um, those referrals help me and cost you nothing. So uh, really, really appreciate it when you guys use those. So thank you so much. And a lot of times you guys get something like uh, Mercari and Poshmark. You guys get money to shop, list perfectly. You get 30% off, you know. So most of them, there's an incentive for you to use my referral link. So check them out. They're down below. Those are all things I use. I use them. So, and American Bubble Boy has free shipping. So that is also a plus. Hi, Courtney. I picked up this book um, on eye injuries and their treatment for 15 cents at the bins. Hmm. I've had it listed on Etsy for about a year, but it sold for $80 and I'm a happy camper. My store is Dolo Deals on Etsy and eBay. Thank you for all you do for our community. And she is a Bolo Buddies member as well. And this is what her eBay store looks like. Rare Antique Book, Eye Injuries and Their Treatment, published in 1907. So what I will say about this is it was a long tail item, but her cost was 15 cents and she flipped it into $80. I mean, all day long, I will sit on a book that is going to sell for that much with minimal money in it. Definitely a bolo. I'm good with long tail. Hi, Courtney. I bought this Skinny Witch Blow Mold with no light hookup for a dollar at a garage sale. When I looked up comps, I couldn't believe it. I listed mine around 150 to 160. Within minutes, I had multiple views on both Mercari and eBay. In minutes, I had an offer of 125 on eBay and I took it. Thank you for all the videos. I truly have learned so much. My family is amazed at everything I have sold in six short months. I love your videos. Eat, pray, thrift. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And this is the witch. So, um, yeah, she decided to take the eBay offer. Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap on YouTube. Check her out. She does a lot of clothing. You're not going to get that from me. And shoes. So she's fantastic to follow. I picked up two of these for $3.75. Each same buyer bought both pair. 50 each plus shipping on eBay. I originally bought these for my son, but he said, no, thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> she said. So he said, no, thanks. And she said, no, thank you. <laughs> All right. So she made money on it. Her son didn't want it. So what she do? She sells it because she is a, say it with me, reseller. 
All right, Under Armour large fitted chino joggers. This is what they look like. Man, wonder where she bought those. Did she say three seventy five? That's cheap. Nice buy. The nice retail arbitrage. Farm Girl Scavenger Noel YouTube channel. Also on whatnot. Bolo Finder sells weird stuff. So in my video the other day, I featured her and I said, sell the weird. But that's not what she says. She says, buy the weird. But then she sells the weird. So either way, Bolo Finder, unexpected items. Here's an example. The Tic Tac gum is still selling. Paid 25 cents a piece. One of the best things I ever bulk purchased. This Tic Tac gum right here sold for $50.99. The buyer was all in for $61.89 and she's got 75 cents in that listing. Pretty crazy. Bought in a large bulk estate sale purchase. Might have five into this. I accepted a best offer of $274. They were all in for $310.67. This also comes from Noel Farm Girl Scavenger and linked down below. Check her out. She does a lot of category videos. They are called, um, I just went blank. What are they called? Let's talk about it. <laughs> I knew it would come to me. And she picks a category and she does these live so you guys can ask questions. And it's on Thursday night. And they are super educational videos. I highly recommend you check out some of her playlist because she's got a whole bunch of them. And you're definitely going to learn. Super knowledgeable, super big bolo finder. And uh, yeah, here's the next one she sold. I paid $2 each for these. I took a best offer of 110 for the grand one and 150 for the blue one, totaling 260 for both. 292.67 all in. Purchased the last day of an estate sale with quite a few other similar items. Last day of an estate sale and still found it. That's awesome. And she is also a moderator of this group. And this group, as I always say, is crazy. It's a lot of work, guys. A lot of work. We're doing our best. Um, if you see any comments that are mean, negative, don't follow the rules. Please report those. That really helps us. I found two sets of these Susan Branch dessert plates at a garage sale last weekend. They were marked $3 per set but it was half price day, so $1.50 for each set of four. Listed the first set yesterday and it sold for a full price of $99.99 plus shipping in eight hours. There were no comps anywhere for these plates, so I based my listing price off of a, off of a set of Susan Branch cups that sold about a month ago, but I think I'll list the second set higher. Yes, I definitely would list the second set higher. Maybe even try an auction. You just never know. And she did include a photo of the back. Hey, Courtney, picked up this Thomas set at the Goodwill back at the end of March for $6.74. When I looked inside the box at the store, it appeared to be new. And sure enough, when I got home, it was the case. I looked up comps and even used ones were selling high. And the train itself for the set is rare and listed high. So I decided to list mine at $199.99 or best offer. I kept getting watchers on it, but nothing. Sent out some offers for $179.99 and still nothing. Woke up yesterday, yesterday morning to being sold overnight for full asking price. And this is what it looks like. It is the Thomas Wooden Railway 2002 Sodor Service Station Lorry 2 Fuel Train Set. Awesome. This one comes from Jody Toy Attic. This is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She's incredible. She said, I paid $3 for this set at an estate sale. It took almost a year to sell, but I knew if I waited, the right buyer would come along. The buyer has been sending me increasingly high offers since I listed, so I think they were saving up. It's a Mark's Munchieville Plantation playset, Fruit Trolls Village. Hmm, 350 bucks for that. That is awesome. Never seen that one. Picked these up at an estate sale on the first day for $4. Sold in about two weeks for full asking. They weighed 30 pounds, but they shipped media mail. This one also comes from Toy Attic. Six Wildlife Fact File Card Binders Homeschool Edition, $155 plus. 
plus shipping. All right, you guys, what did you think about those bolos? Did any of them knock off your socks? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know how you found the channel. Please go follow these awesome resellers that have YouTube channels and eBay stores. They are linked down below. You will definitely learn so much from them. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, one down below. Subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. As always, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.